Here tonight, a huge discovery made by police. Tavares police say they uncovered a chop shop. They found several stolen cars were being stripped for high-end parts. News 6 reporter Eric Sandoval watched as investigators moved in. This is one of the big finds from this chop shop raid tonight. It's a $130,000 tanker truck. The transmission's been stripped and so have a lot of other things. But the good news is Tavares police say the man who did all this is in custody. Jimmy Kennedy says he got a sickening feeling when he saw his truck pulled out of one of these garages in Tavares tonight. It's just disgusting. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of work to get it back together. He says the last time he saw his tanker was on March 20th, stolen early in the morning. You can see surveillance video caught it driving away. He says he had no idea who was behind the wheel. They started stripping it. They tore the transmission out, started taking the interior apart, uh, was in the process of taking the wheels off. Tavares police say Kennedy's truck sat alongside this flatbed trailer that was reported stolen out of Orange County. Police say they also found a $70,000 cattle trailer, a Harley, and parts. A lot of the vehicles here that we found are, do have a high price tag. Um, they all seem to be Kenworth, and it looks like some of the parts are taken out of the stolen vehicles and placed in other vehicles. Tavares police say they arrested this man, 38-year-old Jose Manuel Acosta Menendez. News 6 found out tonight he has a history of stealing cars. This was his mugshot from 2013. Tonight, he's charged with four more counts of grand theft and operating a chop shop. I'm glad he's caught and I hope he does see this. Now, Tavares police say they're going to be out here for a while tonight. They're going to be gathering more evidence and also checking to see if there's any more parts that they find. The suspect, meantime, Acosta Menendez, has been booked in the Lake County Jail. He faces a judge in the morning. We're in Tavares tonight. Eric Sandoval, News 6.